Lux finit abalto. Light coming from above. Light, which is knowledge. Lux finit abalto. Lux finit abalto. Light coming from above. Light coming from above, and we know light and knowledge, you know. Yeah, and when you surround yourself with light, there is no darkness, there is not even a shadow. It's when you get to the outer extremities of that light that's when you will say what I'm called the shadow usually is the defect of that light we do give thanks and praise salute my good elder i am eagle i am the elder reason and touch upon a level and you know we are talking about the positive and the negative and I say all oh, them correlate, all oh, them work together. And then me I make him know say boy that I just on that level, God is at a level. So when he reach to a much higher level, where when you deal with the positive or when you deal with the light, which is pure light, the pure form of things, then the duality cease. There's no more duality. There's no more positive or negative. It's just, you know, pure light, pure love, pure knowledge. And that is a level where eventually we as a people are forget to the transcendental level where we are chosen to evolve not just emotionally, but also spiritually, mentally, a much higher level. But everything takes stages. Everything, you know what I mean? It's a step-by-step -step process. So within our contemplation, we are said, as it was written, I'm saying in the beginning, God created man and gave man dominion over all things. However, as it now appears, things seems to take dominion and possession over the created man. And when we say created man, may I talk from a perspective of, yes, as man, depending on your intellectual level, then you can be classified or deemed as an animal and i would say this is the lower nature where most of the ones them are function on this is where we find ourselves far removed from that source that light source so because we are dwell within the shadows what i'm called the darkness this is why everything seems so out of place and chaotic. But the moment we become cognizant of that supreme source, that life force that is out there, which is light, 
and then you know apply yourself moving towards that light then that's when we're gonna shed a lot of the unnecessary things then we're gonna eventually move away from the duality and manifest within that singularity where we are realized that irrespective of how it is as man we all have that divine spark within us as man god there is mankind kinds of man human all different kind of things out there all different kind of alien beings are out there however as man this immortal man uh, man represent the vessel that house this immortal soul we are here so when the vessel which is this man flesh should expire then what is within what animate that flesh which is that divine spark yeah that soul go back to that supreme source it not perish but again there's many levels to these things and it's always a step-by-step -step process and usually each one teach one according to one's application free will exercise so yeah at the introduction this to this you know, a secondary platform where we are going forward yeah, Nestorian King Awa. Yeah, Ataru character, House of Dallas. Yeah, and as I said before, light come from above. Lux beneath, Abalto. I'm in love the different, different languages. Yeah, truly. God. I'm cognizant that we are so much more. So much more than what they are considering us to be. So much more. However, if we are in an animalistic state, where the only way to resolve differences is through violence, then we can never elevate we can never transcend and these things are free will exercise an excuse can be when i have the knowledge yeah the next excuse can be we just do not have that spirit what is each one you know we teach the other you know And ones of it can be able to adjust themselves. Yeah, man. Adjust their temperament and adjust their personalities. I always say, uh, sometime at the approach. And that's why I find myself not really, I follow the status quo i follow the blueprint where babylon will lay out for everybody we chose for you is a machete what i'm called machete we call it machete or cutlass and just chop out highway because again if man was made in the image and likeness of man's creator a man was given dominion over all things then at no point 
a thing should have any kind of authority over or above the man. So right now, basically, I say, I could place emphasis on what is true opposed to what is not true. And the man represent what is true. The persona represent what is not true. But it's only a person, persona. Now it comes down to the construct that is in place where all of its documentation address not the man never the man but the fiction side of the man which is the male the persona yeah so we like bring honorable clarification and again we are always the student totally and willing yeah always receptive to learning so once we get correction that is true then we don't have a problem and make the amendments make the correction and move forward however light come it from above we not talk about them little firmament. We are talk above and beyond that. And when we can grasp these kind of conception, then we are going to can easily detect when we are move on the animal level, on a lower level, and make the adjustment or we can see, identify the ones them as such and move away from those. God, the separation is inevitable. Where the good will have to naturally separate themselves from what is bad out there. That's inevitable. And truth will always have to reign supreme. A light will always dispel darkness. So let your light shine out there. Truly. Give thanks. Yeah, the test run this. So we'll see how it works. And we'll step from here, step by step. Yeah, man. Lawful and correct. Yeah, man. Free will out there. It's our duty to exercise our divine inherent right to be free. Yeah, man. We now bring the earth and our arm up to absolutely no one. So it is our duty to choose to be free. Salute, complete gratitude.